Hello, everybody. Jim Feisty in Las Vegas, and we're going to look at the NFL. This is the first recording I've done for the NFL. I'm pretty excited. This is going to be a good year. Well, I'm going to start with the NFC West. And why am I doing that? Because that is where the Kansas City Chiefs are. And I expect them, actually, I expect them to be in the Super Bowl. They've increased their talent at wide receiver. There's nothing wrong with Mahomes. Last year's offensive debacle for this team was because of the inept play at wide receiver. But now that they have some new players in that position, made some changes, I expect them to be a lot better offensively. And we know that they have a very strong defense, which is primarily why, well, not a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but Spagnola did a great job in the Super Bowl. That's why they won that game. And of course, not having and but and having Mahomes in there is is a big plus. He's the best in the business right now, and his record is absolutely flawless. I mean, he's been there and he's won this, and he can do it again. It's not that it's impossible because you don't three beat doesn't mean it can't be done. And I think it can be done, and I think it's going to be a hell of a year, barring injuries that we can't predict, and you can never predict that. I expect the Kansas City Chiefs to be in the 13-4 and four range this year in wins and losses out of the 17 games. Now, the next three behind them, Broncos, Broncos Raiders, and Chargers, a little bit of a mix. We got a, the Charger issue. Of course, we've got Jim Harbaugh back in the league, and that's a huge plus. I just don't know if they have the roster to do what a lot of people expect them to do. Um, Herbert can be a great quarterback. He has not had great coaching. One of the worst coaches ever was Staley. And now you really go to the top of the list with Harbaugh. He knows how to win. Can he do it in the first year? I don't know. The Raiders, I don't expect much from. I don't think they're solid in a lot of positions. Um, but all these teams are going to upgrade through this year and into the following year. I don't expect these teams to do very far. The Broncos are in an interesting situation. They paid a lot of money to get Russell Wilson out of the house, and they got Bo Nix starting. You got Sean Payton at the head coach, and he can do the job. He knows how to work with a quarterback and, and make them productive and efficient. And Bo Nix is looking very good. This could be a good marriage there. Do they have the pieces? Not the challenge unless there's major injuries on the Chiefs. I don't think they challenge for the top spot in the division. But I expect them to finish second in the division, which means there's a possibility outside, possibility they could make the playoffs as a wild card. We might as well go to the AFC East. Since we're in the AFC, we can look at the Jets, the Bills, the Dolphins, and, of course, the Patriots, which probably is the team we could start talking about. Winless, maybe? Maybe they go a whole year without winning. It is possibility. I've seen totals on this team of three, three and a half. It's possible they could go the year, whole year without a winning a game. And I'm pre predicting that, but I do think they'll have the worst record in football. At the top of the list... A lot of people are putting the Jets in that mix. Now, they have the roster. Offensive and defensive weapons are there. Quarterback is there. The question with the quarterback is this, and we all know it, Aaron Rodgers. He's a different kind of a guy. We don't really know how to read this guy. The talent is no question. He's one of the best that's ever played the game. And at 40 years old, he still could – have a year or two that could be very productive. 
but he's coming off an Achilles. Now that is not an easy injury to come off of, especially when you get a little older. And then there's the question of whether his head's really in the game. I know he says the words. I don't know that his, his production on the field is going to be in line with the words that come out of his mouth. But they could do it. The Bills are going to fall back a little bit. They lost some weapons. They're going to go to a more of a running control game. But they got a great quarterback. Okay, coach. We'll see. And like I said, the Patriots are a mess. So now you got to look at the Dolphins. Do the Dolphins have it? They have it. Can they do it? Can they maintain it on the road? Can they maintain it in bad weather? Which they will have games like that. They have been a monster at home. Of course, they play in a humid climate. Early in the season, it's very hot there. So they have a lot of edge at that area. But the way I see this is um, those three teams fighting for the top, the Patriots are out of it. I'm going to give the Jets a shot to win the division, but it's going to really come down to the big question mark. Everybody has the same question. Aaron Rodgers, will he show up? Does he want to show up? Is he healthy enough to show up? And can he handle 17 games? I don't know. I'm not, I, I'm not super optimistic, but I give him a chance. But close behind, it's going to be the Bills and the Dolphins. So it could, it could flip either way there. Now you look at another Western team of how about we um, AFC North. This is a tremendously good division. The Bengals, the Browns, the Ravens, and the Steelers. I mean, you got to you got to give a big edge to the to the Ravens. They're coming in healthy. They've added uh, Henry, uh, running back issue. I mean, they can run the ball. I mean, they can be very tough. And we all we know Jackson can play. Strange game plan last year when they played the Chiefs. I don't know what the hell they were doing. I'm glad it happened because I had the Chiefs. And then, of course, you've got the Bengals. You've got the same kind of an issue you have with uh, a lot more, for sure, desire with Joe Burrow. But he's been injury-plagued, and can he stay healthy? Huge question. I don't know. Um, Jamar Chase has been a problem. Signing, he's going to hold out, hold in, whatever you want to call it. But the Browns, you got the question mark at quarterback. They have the roster. They got the coach. Uh, but uh, Deshaun Watson is a mess. They paid him too much money. Is good. Does he really want to play? Why should he want to play? Uh, he's getting paid no matter what he does. If he sits on a bench, sits at home, he gets paid. So that's a big question. The Steelers, I mean, they got Russell Wilson, who they, they wanted to get out of Seattle, and they wanted him out of Denver. Now Pittsburgh has him, and he's going to start. I, I don't like their backup. Fields hasn't proven anything as far as being a winner. So when it comes down to it, the Ravens, number one, the Bengals, number two, the Browns, number three, and you could flip-flop them. And the Steelers, most likely because of their quarterback issues, number four. However, we all know that Tomlin in his own way, gets it done. He does win. He has winning season after winning season. But they're not as good as the Ravens, and they're not as good as the Bengals. And they may not be as good as the Browns. However, lots of things can happen with these guys. you got the Ravens. you got the Browns issues. And, then of course, you got the Bengals issues at quarterback. So it's a real, real mess. AFC South, the Colts, the Jaguars, the Texans, and the Titans. The Titans are more improved than people are giving them credit for. I'm not saying they're going to win this thing. The Texans are the favorite, and they should be because of D'Amico Ryans and what they did last year was really a shock. I like them better than the Jags. We haven't seen Lawrence perform at a level that you could actually trust yeah, there's, uh, there's positives there, but I don't know. The Colts, Richardson, yeah, 
he should he had flashes last year, but he too got hurt. There's a lot of questions in the whole league because quarterback depth, quarterback starters, offensive line issues. This is across the league. And remember this in preseason, they don't hit much. So these teams are not ready to jump out of the box and be like they're going to be if they're healthy week four, week five, week six, and so on. So in this division, I'm going to go with the Texans to win at the Colts to come second. And the Jags and the Titans to fight it out for number three spot. But there's going to be some upsets in this whole mix because these teams are close enough for anything to happen on any given day. And now we covered the e, the uh, AFC pretty quickly. Now we can go to the NFC. Let's go to the West. San Francisco was in the Super Bowl. They lost it. Is the Super Bowl hangover going to get them? Possibly. Niners, they got problems. They got offensive line issues with Trent Williams. They got Ayuka. They, it, it, there's issues there. The Rams, I like these Rams. I mean, I, the coach has got it don't, doing a good job. They got the quarterback. They got they got a lot of talent. They lose uh, uh, Arnold at defense. That's a big loss. They got the Cardinals and the Seahawks back there with them. Cardinals could be surprised. They're going to be able to score a lot of points. I don't like their defense at all. So right here, I'm just looking at the Niners. Good coach. Solid quarterback, solid running game. Offensive line is super good if Trent Williams is there. If he's not, it's a big question mark. What happens at that position if he is not playing? And then, of course, we got the Seahawks. Seahawks, new coach, Carroll's out. I look for their defense to be stronger. Can their offense live up to what they did two years ago? Not last year, because it wasn't that productive. It wasn't that impressive. But if they can live up to what they did two years ago, they could be dangerous. And if the Niners slip, and it is possible, especially if they have signing problems at the left, you know, the left offensive line position with Williams gone, if he's not there, Look out. A lot of things can happen. Purdy has a great record when Williams is on the offensive line. When he's not, it's not very impressive at all. So that is a position that can make a big difference for what happens with this team. Now, I lost my place here. Hold on. I got to find my place. Oh, boy. That's what happens when you have... Several computers going and okay. Let's go up here. All right. So I'm going to go to the a NFC North, which is also a very, very interesting. I like this. This division is going to be interesting. I like the Lions and I like the Packers. And they could flip flop to winning this thing this division. Right now, I'm going to go with the Lions. They're healthy. I like what they did last year, but I also like what the Packers did last year, but a bigger sample size with the Lions. I look for the Lions to be the NFC's team in the playoffs to go to the Super Bowl and meet the Chiefs. I'm <laughs> out there. This is early. We're still doing this in August, but Lions against the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. So, therefore, I think the Lions are going to win this division with the Packers a close second. A lot of things can happen. I like the coaches on both teams. I like the quarterbacks on both teams. I like what they've done in the offseason. These teams are ready to go. This could flip-flop. It could be the Packers, Lions, Lions. It's going to come down to injuries, turnover here, turnover there. Anything can happen. I do not – I'm not getting involved with the hype. With Chicago, you got a rookie quarterback expecting a lot from him. That doesn't happen that often in the NFL. Yes, it happened for the Texans last year, but I can't predict it's going to happen here. 
especially with two teams that are really good at the top of this division than the Lions and Packers. The Vikings, well, they lost their, their backup quarterback, J.J., but I don't expect this team to go very far anyway. New coach, a lot of things happening here. They will develop. This is a developmental year, I believe, for the Bears and the, the Vikings. Lions first, Packers second, Bears and Vikings to battle it out for three. Now we go to the NFC South, which is not a very good, talented division. Tampa Bay has done it. It doesn't look like on paper they're ready to do it again. But what are we saying here? We're saying that the Falcons are going to make this big jump. They got to show me. I'm from Missouri. Show me state. Like, okay, on paper, I can see. But they don't win games on paper. You got to do it on the field. So I'm going with the Bucks to win it, the Panthers at the bottom, the Saints just above them. There's a lot of hype on the Panthers. They got to show me. The interfering owner. Um, Nothing solid there. The quarterback is a little small. Yes, he was number one draft choice. Can they do it? Maybe. But I like I I, I like the Bucks, the Falcons second, the Saints third, and the Panthers fourth. NFC East. Now this is interesting. Philadelphia got out of the box last year. They were dynamite. And then they fell apart. Well, they did off, have an offensive coordinator and a defensive coordinator there for one year because the other two guys left and got head coaching jobs. Eagles, Cowboys. Cowboys are doing some things right now at the end of the preseason. After the games are over, they're signing people. I don't know that they did enough. Jerry Jones is one of those interfering owners, but they they did win the division last year, thanks to the Eagles falling apart. I think the Eagles bounce back. I think they win this. Um, is it possible the Cowboys can hang on and do it again? Yeah, but I don't see it. I think the Cowboys are going to be under 10 wins. Eagles win this division. Commanders come third. Giants fourth. Commanders are doing some things that are interesting. And I like their prospects. Let's say it that way. Given the right things happening, they could easily end up third in this division. I don't think they can end up second, but if something happens to the Cowboys and they're worse than expected, you could get nine wins out of this Commanders, nine wins out of the Cowboys, possibly. Or they both could be eight, and the Giants are at the bottom. Gi Giants paid too much money to their quarterback. They're not ready to win with this team. They're, they're a mess right now. So that's my overview right now of the NFL. It's a quick version. I will get much more serious about the NFL and my bets will get larger as we get into week three, week four, and we see what these teams are doing on the field. Who's ready to play? Who can stay healthy? Because of the rules now where you can't have padded practices, you can't hit, you can't do this, you can't do that, these teams are not really physically ready to play football at their highest level. That's across the board. There are exceptions. And we will see them develop as we go through week one, week two, week three. By the time we get to week four, week five, if these teams are healthy, we'll see different teams, different momentum swings, efficiency swings. So it's, it's looking at this under the new rules of how you can prepare for the season, what you can do early, Bill Belichick said years ago, with all these new rules, teams aren't ready till week four, week five. 
mostly mostly he's right. So we will see where we go. Thanks, guys. We'll be back with more recordings.